see right here. That's right. You are in an airplane. Uh -huh. Now, you know what? Accidentally, you drop a coin. Uh -huh. Let's say maybe a quarter coin, whatever. Okay, so a coin. All right? So now, if you drop this one, then you accidentally drop it. So you just watch this one all the way to the ground. Then, uh-oh, it took seven seconds. All right. Seven seconds later, so this, actually, this coin hit the ground. Okay? Then, wow. You know what? I want you to find out the speed, actually, velocity at the point on the ground. See? Okay. Wait a minute. Then, uh-uh. The first thing you have to think about, you dropped accidentally. That means it, you didn't throw. That means zero velocity. Right? Initial velocity was zero. So that means initial velocity means V0 was zero meters per second. Okay? Now, all the way down right here, Okay, let's say this one's a V. That's what we're looking for, right? That's a V. We don't know. Okay, meters per second. Now, it took seven seconds. That means the time is seven seconds. You know what G is, right? G. All right. G is 9.8 meters per second square acceleration, which is gravitational acceleration. So wait a minute. All right. We have a G. We have a, uh, a T. Then we have initial velocity. We are looking for velocity right here. Oh man, easy. Then we got to use what? This formula. Number one formula right there. Easy. All right. So let's go. Then, okay, we use this formula right here. So final velocity. Oh yes, V right there. So V equals, now, initial velocity was zero. Oh man, too easy. Now, okay, this one is adding velocity, so positive, which is A. Instead of A, we're going to use G, right? This is a gravitational acceleration. So 9.8 meters per second square times time. Time was seven seconds. Oh, seven seconds. Wait a minute. Then we can calculate this one like this. Okay, wait a minute. 2s right here, s square, then s is going to be uh, reduced. Then all we have to do what? 9.8 times 7. Wow. We calculate this one, which is 68.6 meters per second speed. Now, you know what? I want you to try this one. Okay. Convert this one to how many miles per hour. Then we can compare how fast this is going to be compared to our car on the highway or ride. Now, very interesting story, right? So, first of all, we have to eliminate the second, right? That means, aha, uh -huh, we don't need a second. That means automatically we're going to use a second on the top so we can erase this one later. Now, second means, wait a minute, we need actually hour, right? So, HR, I'm going to use HR, which is one hour means 3,600 seconds. Oh, that's right, just like that. Now, now we have to read the meter, change meters to what? That's right, mile. Let me, we're going to change this one, mile, okay, one mile equals what? That's right. 1600 meters. That way, M, M is going to be gone later. Oh man, so easy. Look at that. Now, M, M goes away. Now, S, S goes away. Then, oh, automatically, the unit wise, miles per hour left. You know what I mean? Okay, so, okay, so miles per hour. Now, all you have to worry about number, right? That's it. So, we calculate this one 68.6 times 3,600 3, divided by 1,600, which is 154.35 miles per hour. Think about it. 
Okay, our uh, highway speed is about what? Okay, maybe about 70 miles per hour maximum, you know what I mean? But now this one, 154 miles per hour, that means twice, more than twice of speed on the highway, which is 70 miles per hour. If you drop something from the air, or from the airplane, something like that, that means by this speed, let's think about this one. You're going to hit by this coin by this speed, you okay? No way. So we're going to be dead. So that's why we have to be careful. Never throw something from the airplane 